Hi everyone, Luke here from Figmento Films. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet. I've been gone for ages, I've got no script, but I'm gonna try and help you get the best settings from your C-Log free profile on your Canon R7. It might be different on the Canon R5 and R6, but if you've got a Canon R7, this is gonna to apply to you. So basically, if you've been shooting in your log profile, you've probably noticed your shadows are too noisy and you get weird posterization on your images. I've watched many videos, I've read many things, but in the end I just bro scienced it. I went through each setting one by one until I found the cleanest setting for this camera. We're using C-Log3, we're shooting in cinema gamut. I've got an EF 17-40 f4 lens. I would recommend faster lenses, but this isn't usually my main camera. A Sigma 1.8 would be great, an EF uh, 17 to 55 2.8 would also be great it's going to give you more ability and more chance of locking these settings in so what are we doing we're simply using the zebra controls to find the cleanest noise floor and the least amount of posterization got two tests one is in a light box half that light box is black half is white i'm going to go from 45 percent on the zebras I think I went up to 95, but I stopped because in the set, when I went into the edit, it was clearly a best setting. There was no need to go any higher. Then we're going to find out how those settings look on skin tones, specifically myself and my girlfriend, and I'll share the results at the end. And I think you're going to be really, really pleased with these results. So on to the first round of testing, which is in the light box. Okay, so this was the light box test. We started at 45%, as uh, so that was closest to middle grey. I've shot inside of the light box, I've put, uh, put half of it black, half of it white, and I put the colour test chart in there as well. Keep close attention to the bottom blue chip and the yellow chip on the one, two, three, four up from that. Uh, that's where you'll see a lot of changes. Um, you'll see a lot of noise in that blue and that black and the shadow just off next to it. As you can see, there is noise at the bottom. Um, I think this is personally not really usable. Uh, you can see very, very busy noise and posterization. Now we've gone on to 50%. Now 50% is already getting a little bit better, much cleaner noise. I think this is usable, but you have got quite busy noise on those blues. The yellows looks fine. 55% we've got, I'm just gonna pause it here. So this is what I would consider usable. You could definitely set your zebras at this but the one coming up is gonna be even better in my opinion. So if we carry on, so this is 60% and this was awesome. This was like a eureka moment for me. This was um, just, it just jumped up to something that was really clean, really usable. And this to me is where the footage stops looking like horribly noisy and looks almost like a film grain and actually quite pleasant, uh, but it does indicate to me that these colours may be more challenging than other colours. So the blues and darker colours may be more challenging than other colours and we will look at that in the skin tone test in a bit. So after this, which I thought was the magic number, we went on to 1600 ISO. So Canon recommend an ISO setting of 800 and um, which is where you're gonna get the most dynamic range. And I also personally recommend using the official Canon uh, LUT as well. It's a conversion LUT, and I'll leave the link to that below. So this is at 1600. I would say you've got a tiny, tiny little bit more noise, but it's more than usable. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Um, however, what I do see is the yellow chip up here, which I mentioned earlier, You have, I have started to see a little bit less of uh, color information. And as we go on to 3200, something really weird happens. The color information on that yellow chip that I was talking about has just gone kaput. It does not look good at all, to be completely honest. Uh, it's not completely gone, I don't think, but it's not great. Uh, however, the other thing was the blue has gone really clean again. In the forums, someone mentioned they might have some sort of dual gain sensor in there. I can't confirm that, but 3200 is definitely clean. To me, this means if you need to get the shot, do not be afraid to push up to at least 3200. So how awesome was that? There's clearly a point where the IRE value equals the cleanest image. And if you look at the color chip charts, it also represented the least amount of posterization. And what is that magic number? It's clearly 60% 
which is awesome. I've watched so many videos, but sometimes you just have to power through going through all the settings on your camera. And in actual fact, if you don't agree with these settings or you've got other settings or better settings, just let me know. I'm not, I'm not telling you the way, I'm just telling you a way. Then as a community, if you pull all of our information together, we all benefit, which is great. Okay, so this is a skin tone test. So this piece of video here has already been exported into ProRes with uh, the official Canon conversion look baked into it. It still looks quite flat though. And I'll show you the reason why it's important to have your color checker chart in a second. And that is simply because this is where you're gonna get a more accurate white balance. I understand now if you're running and gunning, that is definitely not always gonna be a thing. But if you can, if I just press this over here, it should make the colors look lovely and natural and I've got to say I'm really blooming impressed with how the video is rendering this out it looks fantastic um, a really challenging scene of set as well high contrast between the face and the shadows a top that is the same shades in the same sort of shades where we were seeing the noise and the posterization from the other tests and you can still see some of that definitely you can still see noise but to me, that noise looks more like a grain. The most important thing is the skin tones. And these skin tones, to me, look fantastic. There's a lovely, dewy look about this. And this is the same approach I took with my Vlogs on my Lumix cameras as well. So I'm really happy with this. The other set of skin tones tests has been done the whole video. I've been shooting the whole thing on the Canon R7 with the exact settings mentioned in this video. My overall settings are these. I'm shooting in 10 bit, uh, I'm shooting at 23.98, let's just call it 24 frames a second because that's uh, what we most associate with motion blur in cinema. I've obviously doubled the shutter speed as a general rule. I've got my variable ND filter on, I'm shooting at f4. I've got the light set to exposure, it's just, just got those zebras on my skin. Uh, and I think I'm shooting an all intra as well, so I've tried to get the most uh, powerful settings from the camera and these are the results if you like them let me know what you think and please let me know your own settings and your thoughts and feelings in the comments below hit the sub button hit the bell icon hopefully I'll see you next week instead of next year and for now I'm going to go back and do a bunch of work because I'm really busy so catch you next time